So, welcome back to Professional Trading. So, um, I've recently gotten a lot of um, less people contacting me about the crash, crash 300 and the boom 300, where obviously we know people love money, and because of the volatility that those markets represent, like you can see, we're on the crash 300, a lot of people want to keep trading it. And also, it has also led to a lot of liquidation, people losing money and people gaining money. So I'm going to be giving this disclaimer or telling you this. There's no 100% assurance anywhere in any form of Forex market, either the synthetic indices or the currency pairs or any form of trading that you are doing. So you actually need money to look to get money. So you have to look, have money to look for money. You can't ha go there um, using your life savings and hoping that you, you flip it, you double it, you triple it just like that having any, without having any idea or fundamental about the market. Even if you do at that, you don't have to trade your all in all. You have to go get a job, a 9 to 5 or any form of job, something that can get you a, a certain amount of income or more like a stable income while you trade on the side. Now, before you become a full-time trader, you would have probably traded for a long time and raised enough capital or enough funds for yourself for personal use and other investments before trading. Trading cannot be your only and major source of income. I will have to say, say that out there before we dive into this analysis. Now, this is the crash 1000, um, crash 300 rather, and it can also be used on the boom 300. And it's a very, 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 very easy and fun market to trade. But despite the ease in this market, I always say do not use your all in all to trade it. You can backtest it if you need to, but I've already done that myself and I'll be explaining everything to you. Now, this is a total zoom out as you can see here. Zoom in, we are, this is where the market is currently. So let's move this a bit. So we get the perfect all right so this is where the market is currently right now and you can see here that um we're going to be using just two major indicators very 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 very, very easy indicators and you can already predict um how these indicators are going to work already by looking at my screen so let's dive in and let me explain this indicator out for you now the first indicator we have here is the relative strength index followed by the ichimoku kinko io now the relative strength index has these parameters then apply to close simple and the color should be the color of your background but here is where we need it importantly our levels you can arrange it in whatever format but you can say mine is scrambled where well, you need the 90 the 10 the 50 20 and 80 so i think i, I first found i have 210 so i'm deleting one all right so we need 90 10 50 20 and 80 those are the levels we're going to be doing for our relative strength index and you click done and after that, we're going to go back in and set up for our Ichimoku Kinko Ayo. Now, these are, these are the parameters for the Ichimoku. We have it at 5, 4, 2. Very simple, 5, 4, 2. And then, those colors should be the colors of your background, except the first one, which is red. Now, you can take a screenshot of this if you need to, and then we're done. Now, obviously, the Relative Strength Index is the box down here. Then, the red lines in here are the Ichimoku, or is the Ichimoku now. So right, let's dive straight into what we have here. Like I said, we have a total zoom out. You can zoom in for further confirmation, but the level at which you use this um, indicator is to zoom out totally. And now with the current market pair and what's going on in the market, let's zoom in one. Good. So just zooming in once, we can see, we can get a better view of what the market is about doing. So you can see here that at this peak here, which is duplicated here, we had um, a crash that's a moving downward movement of the market. And we can say that you can point out here that where this happened around here, the moment the market got in crossing through the 80 level, heading towards the 90. So in between the 80 and 90 level, you can see that the confirmation came in for a spike, um, which is downward in a crash market. So the spike happened, it, kept, it came here, several spikes happened, and it kept happening. But the market went up. Now the 50 level is going to be our take profit level and our hold level. But you can see on here that the market went up before touching the 50 level. Either way, if it has gone out of the market, you wait for it to redo this again, where it went back into the 80 level. And you can see it sold till it got to the 50 level. You can see that they sold till it got to the 50 level and then you're out of the market. You're gonna let the market play out whatever way it wants to. And the current method of what's playing out right now is the market heading down Okay. Is the market heading down totally and heading for the 10, 10 and 20 level? So we have to wait for it to get to that point. And once it does, you can probably trade it back up again for a buy since it's a crash market. You can see here, okay, you can see on here each time the market made that touch here. 
But if we move this market a lot, you see that it wasn't a confirmed touch. So we don't have it never experienced a lot of spikes. But you can see on here where there was um, a lot of um, selling oversold market. The buy came in. And this is the crash 300. It's a very, very volatile market. So you get a lot of spikes intermediary at certain levels. And once in a while, you get long trades like this occur. So let's check this out to the boom 1000 or the boom 300 rather. Now here in the boom 300, you can see it's literally, literally the opposite. And um, each point signifies your total sell and each point here, total buy. And you can see that plays out, gets to the 50 level, then the market begins to range. So the 50 level is your hold and exit level. So the market is currently ranging. So we're not going to trade this market. Mm -hmm. We're going to allow it play out. Either get to the top or get to the um, to the lowest part, and then we're going to decide what we want to do with it. Mm -hmm. But secondly, for you to trade this market perfectly, you're going to be able to understand the trend of the market, and you have to do that in the four hours and the one hour time frame. So we can only get to understand the trend of the market. You can see in the four hour that the market is actually on an uptrend even though i had a trend line earlier we're currently on an uptrend i had this trend line as you can see on here which is this red line on my screen set up about a few days back because i was looking at this market and hoping to see the movement and then yeah there was an actual breakout actual break and you can see it's on an uptrend right now so yes if the market is on an uptrend you have to observe that okay seeing as the boom 300 is currently on an uptrend and it's on the overbought side. This indicator will not really count at this at this point since it's for designed for the one minute. But since the market is an uptrend, we we'll go back into the one minute time frame, and we expect now we can. We, it's, a, it's a hold market, obviously, since it's ranging on the one minute time frame. But we can expect it to come down, expect it to go up. But whichever way it goes, we're not going to trade it until it gets to that point. And then, knowing that it's an overbought high um, market, then we can dive into trade the market. So that's basically it. Like I said earlier, do not trade your all in all. Be very careful. It's a very volatile market that has made a lot of people cry and that has made a lot of people happy. So you just have to stick to your plan, be patient, and play out your um, trading strategies. So that's basically it for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends and family, though. Also your enemies, either ways. Bye for now, and see you on the next one.